Has anybody here seen an animal being slaughtered? It can be so heart-wrenching that many people have turned to things like veganism, right? Because they just cannot fathom being associated with the slaughter, the death of an innocent creature. Now, if you live in the West, maybe American society, we live a very sanitized life, right? You go to the supermarket, and meat comes in a plastic container, right? It's got saran wrap, it's nice and cold, it's cut into beautiful steaks, right? Maybe ground into a mush that uh, doesn't look anything like an animal. And you take it home and you fry it up and you don't think two things about it. It's meat, yes? What if that is actually part of the problem in our society? in our culture. What if the horror of seeing an animal killed is actually the point? When was the first animal slaughtered? Does anybody know? And why? Okay, they sinned, right? And what did they end up trying to do for themselves? They tried to cover themselves with leaves, right? Does anybody remember what kind? Fig. fig leaves, figures. <laughs> okay, so they try to cover themselves with fig leaves. This is not sufficient, right? So the Almighty comes and he gives them coverings of skin. How do you get the skin from an animal? You slaughter it. You slaughter it. it, it it's not like they have zippers, true enough. The consequence of our sin is death, right? And when you get confronted with what that really looks like, it is shocking. This animal is dying so I don't have to, right? Not because I just want to stuff my face with more sausages. Theoretically, this animal is dying so that I may have life, right? There is something about its life being taken in my stead. And when you see what it could mean for you yourself. I think this is actually a message that the Almighty is, is trying to communicate to us in this. And we separate ourselves from that a lot in, in Western society. That's just something to think about. But when you contemplate, right, what it really is, it's not a burger, it's not a, a, a steak, it's a, I mean it is. But it's also an innocent animal that has been destroyed, right? It's throat cut, the lifeblood poured out so that you can have continued life. This should communicate something to us about the nature of what Messiah did and the horror of it, right? And also what our sin really means.